Hey friends, welcome to the channel. My name is Christine and today we are going to do something that is one of my favorite things to do, like my favorite. We are going to go clearance shopping and I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna go in the store together and we're gonna find all of the deals. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to save money on groceries. You just have to know where to look, what stores to go to and what to look for. So it's a touch of a drive. We're gonna go into town. We're gonna go to my local Fred Meyer because you're not gonna be able to find the deals I'm looking for at a big box store, at a Walmart, at a Costco, at a Sam's Club. We need something that runs circular ads every single week and stores that actually do mark down their items. Not Walmart does, but like just a little bit and not that much. It'll be like $3.99 on sale on clearance for $3.79, right? Like not that much of a sale. What I know that we need is we need to check Ibotta and fetch rewards before we go just to see if there's anything good there. We need to make sure we have our wallet. <laughs> because that's embarrassing in case you didn't know. And also this is one of, my, one of my biggest tips for you is when you go shopping, do not shop hungry because you will absolutely overbuy in the store because you're like a maniac and you can't get your mind off of food. It makes you have bad choices in the grocery store, spend more than you need to and you can't think critically when you're hungry. Before I go, I'm gonna have a protein bar. It's one that I've been eating for the last couple of weeks and it is the all new and improved Built Bar, and yes, they are sponsoring today's video, and I am so glad that they are because the macros are bomb. So this one is the Toffee Almond. I love toffee. They're all covered, well, all the ones I've had so far, they're all covered in chocolate like this. And then the inside is like super, super smooth. And it tastes like you're eating a candy bar, but it's a protein bar. It's amazing. The new Built Bar tastes even better than the previous ones, which were known for their amazing taste. They have raised the bar with new and improved texture offerings and an even better experience for you. Also, they are releasing 18 delicious flavors right now. Six are brand new and I was able to try a lot of them and they are freaking delicious. Built Bar continues to be a guilt-free pleasure with a high protein, gluten-free, and low calorie nutrition profile. Everything about the bars are more consistent from bar to bar, which promises you an amazing Built Bar experience every time you take a bite. And they're gonna give you 20% off right now when you follow my link down below and use the code FRUGALFITMOM20. First link in the doobly-doo for you and use the code FRUGALFITMOM20 to save yourself 20% if you wanna try any of these awesome protein bars. I am thoroughly enjoying them. Now that I've had my snack, let me get my purse, my jacket, and let's go shopping. First thing you wanna do when you come into a grocery store, and this is gonna happen a lot more often in a standard grocery store, like Albertsons, a Kroger affiliate, which is what this is, Safeway, Tom Thumb, I, I don't know what all the store names are, but you will not find deals like this, like at Walmart and things like that. So they will run weekly sales that are really, really good. For example, they have butter for $1.77. That's amazing. Whole chickens for 88 cents. Cucumbers, green bell peppers, two for a dollar. This is fabulous. So you wanna pick out these items, the really, really cheap ones and add these to your shopping list for the week. I even saw not the Jeff peanut butter, but the Kroger brand peanut butter is 97 cents a jar right now, like this week, which is a great time to stock up on it. And you know, if you're into the whole ice cream thing, Ben and Jerry's, mmm, 249, you can't beat that. Here's another really good price. We have broccoli crowns for 99 cents a pound. This is fabulous. That's a great deal. I can barely even find frozen broccoli for that. Those are some basic items that you might just wanna add to your shopping list for the week and then incorporate into your menu. And once you have made that list, it's time to go to the store and start hunting for the clearance items. The first thing to look for is the bakery clearance. Now, if they have a fresh bakery in their store, and I have found this at Walmart as well, they will always have their excess stuff on a shelf like this somewhere in the store with stickers on it saying how inexpensive it is. So for example, this huge bag of rolls is $1.99. These bagels are $1.89. This freshly baked multi-grain bread is $1.79. And you have like these toast things are 99 cents. And you can put yummy toppings on these and toast these and they're so good. Do you guys love coffee cake and danishes and things like this as much as I do? Yum. I've been able to find great deals on here and this is always where I find my clearance non. I don't see any today, but if if they're going to have it, it's going to be here. Most stores I've been to have a table or a shelf where they just stick random crap that's on clearance. And since we have 
just finish a holiday, they have lots of stuff like seasonal items, gingerbread, brownie brittle. Look at all of these crispy French fried onions. They all have Clarence stickers on them. Is it bad that like these look really good, but like kind of gross, but kind of good at the same time? <laughs> You have these tasty boxes. See, this does not look like a great price to me, although I don't know. Oh, wow. The original is over $7. That is amazing. That's an expensive box. If you don't want to waste money, you just have to be thoughtful about what you purchase. Like, I don't need these peppermint candy canes. Like, we can pass these over. But if you want to bake some desserts, this is a pretty good price here. This is about 50% off, this apple cider vinegar. This is pretty good. So I'm gonna pick up one of those because I could use that. I see dog food often. Lots of Kit Kats, holy smoke. Some ready-made graham cracker crust, that is a great idea. And there's a couple of things of flour for an okay price, I guess. Oh my gosh, look at all of these french fried onions this is hilarious 3.79 for that flour i guess because it's organic huh and we have some barbecue sauce this is an okay price this is nothing i'm super excited about so i'm going to pass up most of this stuff i found some cookie dough you basically just need to walk along all of the perishable items and look for stickers, that's all you need to do. I don't know what the original price is on these, and we don't need cookies, but 59 cents is pretty cheap if you wanted to get your kids a fun little treat. Now here's what I'm talking about. Look at all of these Pillsbury cornbread swirl. I think I'm gonna get some of these. This is a great price, a really easy side to go with any kind of dinner. There's a bunch more, there are a ton of these. Yogurt is always a great find. There's some definitely clearanced out yogurts here. Let's take a look. Dannon Light and Fit. I don't think this is a Greek yogurt, so I might pass on that one, but this Dannon Oikos is pretty good. For $2.49, that is a deal. Make sure you check your dates and you're comfortable with the date, but usually it's out a week or so. Um, that's a good price. Don't forget to check out your Ibotta because I did Fred Meyer for this and this Kite Hill Dairy Free Yogurt. Limit five is $1.50 back any variety. What sizes are okay? 16 ounce, so let's take a look. So those are the five ounce, that's too small. It's this larger one here. So $1.50 off that. So if you need to get something like that, you can use Ibotta to get $1.50 off. Now I am not dairy free, so I don't need to do that. I see these clearance stickers, this is amazing. Spiced blueberry, Dave would love these. You have all these Faye clearance yogurts. Oh my gosh, look how cheap these are. These are the really, really big ones. Look, these are 49 cents with the granola. They're normally $4 and they're 49 cents. I'm gonna get a bunch of these. These are amazing yogurts. The passion fruit one is so good. I can't even believe it. That's not, that's not the regular price. It's normally six and it's 99 cents. We have got to get this. Okay, I know it's loud. I hope you can hear me, but I have found that because a lot of people are doing grocery pickups or grocery deliveries, they are not coming in and seeing all of these sales. Now, this is about $2.49 a pound for this ground turkey. I have definitely seen it cheaper. I have seen these one pound containers go down to about 99 cents often. So this is not the cheapest I've seen, but you'll see how many are on sale. They are everywhere. And if you go over here, you've got the plant-based, all of these are on clearance as well. Like, I kind of want to try one. I want to try one of the sausages just to see what I think. We have some Imp Impossible Burger over here for $3.39. I think that's for a pound, isn't it? How big is that? Okay, that's not quite a pound, that's 12 ounces. And I have tried a bunch of the plant-based stuff and personally, I think, if I remember right, I think it's the Beyond and the Impossible are the best ones, like the best tasting, closest to beef flavor in my opinion. We've got some organic ground beef over here for pretty cheap. What do you think? Should I get, I just want to try it, you know, see if it's good. And here's some brats up here, like my family likes those. So I just, I, I just kind of want to try just to see what I think. We'll get that. Here's what's funny. You guys got to watch this. Look at this. So this 93 three, three pound container is on sale for 10.49, 10.47, but look, they put a reduced sticker for 11.19. The sale price is actually cheaper. 
and then the stickers, so make sure you're paying attention. Here's a ton more stickers. Look at all these. So this is down to a dollar nineteen a pound. I don't think this is the best price I've ever seen. If you come over here, they're doing whole chickens for ninety nine cents. That's actually better. It would make more sense to get that whole chicken instead of one of these packages. So I would imagine they'll mark the price down probably tomorrow again. But I mean, this is a huge package of chicken for six bucks. Like this will feed a very large family or a smaller family for a couple of meals. This is normally a great spot to find reduced stuff. I don't see a ton today, although, whoa, those are really soft. Okay. Oh man, that is mushy. I don't know if these can be salvaged, honestly. But if you walk along the produce section, you can definitely find some stickers like that. Normally $4.49. That is great. They always mark down these salad kits, so walk slowly. So I've got apple gouda, crispy apple Dijon right here, buffalo ranch, 99 cents. Now that's the kind of price I like. There's only one left. Just give it a quick look. I, I mean, it looks good. Everything looks nice and clean. It's not slimy, it's not brown. We're gonna get this. Oh, I just saw this sticking out. Asian sesame, that looks like an awesome lunch for me for tomorrow, so we'll grab that. Once again, give it a quick look. It looks a little wet, but not slimy. So that looks okay. I love getting these stir fry kits for 99 cents and throwing them in the air fryer with some just salt and pepper. It makes a very quick side dish, and then I save the seasoning packet for just a different meal for later. I'm gonna grab this. Just a couple other things, we've got some Snow peas on sale, corn on sale, and a whole bunch of fresh basil tucked right there. You remember that sale on broccoli? We need to pick up quite a bit of this today, I think. Don't forget to check the deli area because I just found this dark chocolate spread for $1.79, so I think that'll be fun. The kids will like that. And there's some Buffalo Ranch mac and cheese on clearance here, and they even have some fresh chicken noodle soup clearance as well. They made this one $1.99, probably because they spilled it a bit. Those are pretty good also. Now look, a chicken pot pie. I spy a sticker of guacamole. $3.49 for six singles. I feel like my mashed avocado from earlier was better, so I'm gonna leave these here. All right, I have seen everyone buy these cheese wraps, and I know this is a sale. I know this is good. We're gonna get, I don't know, two of these, see what we think of these things. I mean, it's basically cheese in a tortilla shape. Am I right? Am I right? Right? Oh, English muffins. That's a pretty good price. Here is everything I bought. It cost me $38 before tax, 41 and some change after tax. Yes, I do pay tax on food in the state of Idaho. yippity doo dah So I showed you everything in the store, so I don't feel like I need to go over it again, but I did wanna mention a couple things. Number one is what can you freeze? Like if you don't wanna use it right now, you can freeze most of this for later. Obviously, you're not gonna wanna freeze really watery vegetables, like most of these, that will not go well. And I'm planning on just using that tomorrow anyway. So you'll wanna use these items very quickly. However, yogurts freeze beautifully. In fact, if you eat them just a little icy, it's almost like an ice cream. Cheese freezes beautifully. I have done it for years. Meat, obviously, and did you know you can freeze any of these canned biscuit thingies as well? Avocado also freezes really, really nicely. So if you ever get the holy guacamole or this mashed avocado on clearance like this, you don't know what to do with it, throw it in the freezer, pull it out later, and it'll be perfect. And I don't know about you, but I don't need to worry about chocolate hanging around my house, so this will probably be gone tomorrow. The next thing I wanted to mention is, you probably look at this crazy pile of random ingredients and you see no meals here, and you're kind of right. But I see a couple of things I can do with this, and I wanna tell you what my plan is. Obviously, all of this yogurt and granola and things like this, I mean, we're talking breakfast for the next full week at my house. So the calorie content of this one is 310 calories. That is pretty dang good. I don't know that my kids would even be hungry after that, but I know Dave also likes to take these to work as a snack kind of mid-afternoon. So snacks and breakfasts 
over the next week is pretty much done. If you move over here to the fresh produce, you have basically several sides to go with dinner throughout the week, or it could be a very quick lunch for people that go to work, you know, take your salad, throw it in a Tupperware, go to work. And like I always say, if you want an easy dinner idea, hot meat with vegetables. It's so easy. Get a bag to salad, grill up some chicken. Obviously this one is a no meat option, but serve your sausage alongside some broccoli and salad and boom, you've got yourself a meal. The cheese wraps scream lunch to me. You know, you stuff it with all of these things. Well, what do they have here? Some chicken, some veggies, wrap it up. You've got a nice quick lunch, snacks, snacks. This could even go with your eggs at breakfast. This is one of my favorites actually, avocado with eggs. These, you can smush these up and make little pizzas out of them or you can just make a homemade chili. It's very cheap and easy to do and use these as a side. And this is shelf stable, so I'm not worried about that. Now, I did wanna talk about this because this was not on clearance, but it was right next to the Rayo's sauce. This was only $2.50. In contrast to the $5 sauce, I'm just curious. Right? I'm just curious. Spicy marinara, spicy marinara. Are they similar? Let's look at the ingredients. Now this one says Italian tomatoes and this one does not. But I kind of want to do a side-by-side -side comparison and see if we can do a copycat of this for a little cheaper price. Are you guys interested in that? If so, let me know down below. Hi, mom. Hello, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> um, you and I were just chatting yeah. about this, this type of shopping. Yes. And uh, you said something interesting about the way people meal plan or do what I did here. We were discussing all of this and I was just bringing up a couple of concepts that uh, have to do with food management, food service. The big rule is with food service, the menu drives everything. So a regular restaurant, a regular cafeteria, they would do a menu. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it depends on seasonal foods and things like that. But basically, they make up a menu and then everything goes from there. What they're going to do, how they're going to cook everything, all the processes roll from that. There's a couple of exceptions to that. One is when a regular restaurant or cafeteria, they have leftover foods, they would take those and use them in a way where they can repurpose them so that they don't have that food waste just throwing away. The other exception is something like a soup kitchen or my sister also worked for Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. She was the manager of a Ronald McDonald House where they had food 24 seven for the parents that were staying there. In that instance, those type of situations, they get a lot of donations and they get their donations and they have to look at them and figure out what are we going to do with this food. And that's very similar to what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. You're buying food that's priced, you know, clearance, and so you've got some great buys. You look at it and you think, what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing that a soup kitchen would do. So I hope that helps. Yep, thank you. Okay. And you know I am not going to forget to scan my receipt today with Fetch Rewards because unlike Ibotta, you can just buy whatever you want, scan your receipt, and you get points. And I've been redeeming for Amazon gift cards because I have two sons that have recently had a birthday and it really helps buy birthday presents. <laughs> if you haven't checked out Fetch Rewards or Ibotta, I always have links for those down below. You always get a bonus with my link. And one more time, before you go shopping or spend time searching your store, please, Eat something before you go. And if you wanna try out the Built Bar, check out my link down below one more time. Thank you to Built for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you in the next one. This is just an observation. At 329 for six ounces, like double this is not even a full pound. So we're talking $6.60 basically for not even a pound of cheese. We're up at $7 a pound for cheese. So at what point do you not fall for the marketing gimmick and you just slice your own cheese and you have like slices of cheese with slices of meat, maybe wrapped in lettuce? It's an honest question, I'm just curious. This is a very expensive <laughs> marketing ploy. So even at the clearance price, it's still a lot. It's still $7 a pound for cheese. That's a dang good cheese.